Welcome back. This is Brooke. Glad to have you here. And so today we're going to be looking at a new map called Homestead Economy. And also, I'm going to be talking about something that happened to me a couple days ago. So, that being said, let's have a look around. So, this is our sleep trigger. And this map is in the country Hungary, and it is a small to medium map, so let's have a look around. So this, oops, <laughs> I was like, oh, I thought the chicken um, coop was over the fence. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> the chicken coop's here. So I wonder if you can open the door. I know, I guess not. So we are gonna buy some chickens. All right. See, I don't know. Um, I don't know what the difference. Oh, that's babies, and this is adults. So we'll just get. We're not gonna get any crow uh, roosters <laughs> because I've had enough of the. Okay, I don't see them. I hear them. Where are you? <laughs> okay, where are you guys? I gotta turn around, y'all. Where are the chickens? Are they in the coop? They are nowhere to be seen. They're invisible <laughs> chickens. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. So this is a storage shed. I hear the chickens. Where are you? There you are. Wow! Uh, you went a long way from your coop. <laughs> nice to have you here. <laughs> so this is one shed you get. Nice for storage. I think this is where you can, like your shop maybe? Kind of like an open shop. <laughs> Hi, chicken. What are you over here for? And this is like another storage shed. Very interesting design. Hmm. Maybe you could put your truck in there. Maybe your tractor. Okay, so what is this? There's another one of the chickens. <laughs> They're just all over the place today. Okay. Ooh, did you see that deer up there? Oh my gosh, it was in the air. I've not seen that in a while. Okay. This is sheep, so we're just gonna get some sheep here. I love the black ones. They always, I don't know, they always make me so happy to see black sheep. <laughs> I don't know why, y'all. <laughs> all right. There's our sleep. Oh, our sheep, not our sleep. Okay. And there you are, chicken. Okay. This is where you feed them water. Nice. And this is where you feed them food or grain. Or gr I think grass. And this must be the pa uh, the wool pellets where you get your wool at. Here's uh, some equipment you get what is this hmm what is this oh this is your silo that is really different y'all wow i don't think i've ever get me wrong but i don't think i've ever seen that is this part of your silos too and there's the good old trailer i don't like the one that I can never back up. There's my doggy. Well, technically not my dog. Really not my farm. Only looking around. Okay. So I think we seen the little farmyard. Um I don't think we can jump. Can we jump over this? <gasps> we can. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out what this is. Oh, this could be your shop here. Or maybe it's for milk? What is this? Homemade dairy. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, this is where you can make maybe cheese production? This, this is... Wow. This is interesting. This is like on the farm. This is so cool, y'all. So maybe sheep milk? Maybe. And this is maybe your milk tank? So this would be sheep milk. Because I don't see where any cows are here, y'all. <laughs> 
There's like an empty field. Oh yeah, you're running away from me, dear? Nice, okay. Oh my gosh, there's a uh, combine out here. <laughs> okay, so we need to look at the map. And so um, we own, see, I see the green on here. We own this field. Oh, we don't. Okay, so which one we own? I think this one we own. Okay, we own this one. Wheat has been harvested. And we own this one. Ready to harvest. That's nice. But see, the the yield bonus is super low on that. That is crazy. All right, y'all. We're going to look at the map. And then I'm going to be telling you what happened to me a couple of days ago. And puppy, lay down. I don't know why. Every time I'm on here, you want everybody to know you're, you're here? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. It's my dog. Okay. So we're going to look at the map. Holy moly, this is very tiny, y'all. There is, let's see, 56 fields. And we own 8 and 9, and this is where our farm is, right around that that little area right there. Well, I mean, this little area. <laughs> I thought the tractor, oh my gosh. <laughs> but we own this farm. And it looks like there's a couple of sell points. Some sawmill sale. There's the bale where you can sell your um, bales. There's Uncle Gaza. Gaza. <laughs> Probably a sale. A store number one. Gas station. Vehicle shop. It will actually go over there and look. But I want to see the crops. So we have wheat, barley, granola, oat, corn, sunflower, soybeans, potatoes, sugar beet, sorghum, grapes, <laughs> grapes, grass, um, oil seed, radish, alfalfa, and carrots. So uh, not a lot of. Uh, maps of carrots. Okay. So, do we have, uh, and no, we don't have a vehicle. We just have a tractor. So, I'm going to go and I'm going to buy a vehicle to drive around in, and I'm going to be telling you about something that happened to me. Um, let's see. Let's just go in this, y'all. It's easy, and I love John Deere, so. Let's go. Okay, we're Okay. Let's take a look at the shop. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. Nice. So you got the shop. Oh. You have diesel. Maybe like some cell points, maybe it looks like. And some cell points here. Maybe you can sell your grain. So this is like a shop. This is like where you can sell your grain and a bunch of stuff. And the animal dealer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks like the animal dealer with nothing there but uh I got. And where you can fix your vehicles. It looks like. Okay. That is quite the shop. And this is where you can buy vehicles. Okay. <laughs> uh, like it's all into one. Okay. So we're gonna ride around here. I'm gonna get first person, y'all. So it's not so noisy. And we're going to talk about, well, I'm going to tell you about what happened to me a couple of days ago. So you all, you all know that I've been sick for a while. I've not been feeling very well. And so I started feeling well a couple, you know, a couple of days ago. I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm going for a walk. Where I go a walk at, it's like, it's got a really nice walkway and... Oh, what is this over here? We're just going to take a look in as we're walking around. It's got a lot of parks and is this cow. This must be cows. So, um, cow. So, we don't own this, so you have to probably buy this cow yard. Nice. And you can store your hay and stuff in here. But it has a nice walkway, and it's, it's in a rural area of my town. So, like, it's just really nice, and as you walk, as you walk, either way, there's a park, there's like three or four parks, and it's just super, super nice there. This is our house, and our farm. So, that being said, um, I was having a wonderful time just walking and just smelling the fresh air, and I could hear the birds were chirping so loud. I've never heard them chirp so loud, or maybe because I felt well. I 
felt happy. So, that being said, I came to one of the parks. It's here, just like a road. And I decided that I was gonna sit down and just rest my feet for 15 minutes and watch a YouTube video. I was actually watching all the new news on Farm Sim 25. Okay, so it's here. Let me just look at this for a minute. And I was super excited. Uh, what is this? Okay, so this is another farm. Maybe this is for your wood. I think so. It kind of looks like it. Or maybe chips. Alright. I think it's like forestry area. I could be wrong. So, um, I was actually trying to keep myself up to date on 25 and like everything that was different about 25. And I was so excited about 25. Okay, so this must be where you can sell your hay and straw. Let me see. I want to see this. Okay. Yeah, this is where you can sell your hay. Or, I mean, your straw bales. And this is... Is this another farm? I don't know. Yep, I think this is another farm. Maybe a feedlot of some sort. And you got, like... Maybe this is where the poop goes, or manure, or manure. <laughs> and you have your silage, silage bunkers, or you can use them for storage. And then you've got a grass field. So, uh, it's fun to actually just sit down and relax and just watch all the news on Farm Sim. That's what I do every day. So, I was watching this YouTuber, and I noticed across the way where I was sitting, and there's kind of, it goes in like a circle. It's got like um, picnic tables and benches, and it's got like, you know, a uh, porta potty over there. I didn't want to say that. And this got a lot of trails. This is just a really, really, really nice. Yeah. Oh, maybe this is where you have your. That's your milk tank. It looks like. But it, it's it's just a really, really nice park. And I noticed across the way there was like none cars there. Um, I'm just gonna stop here for a second and talk. There was like, I'm just gonna like get out because it's kind of noisy. And talk here just for a second. It's hard to concentrate, y'all. So. There was like no, there was like no other cars there. It was like empty. So I was just watching um, the farm sim, like I said, the news, and I looked over, and there was like one car, and it was like a white, like older, like low rider car, and it wasn't in the best condition. It was like, you know, one that wasn't wasn't taken care of through the year, so it got rusted, and but all the windows were tinted except for the one side where the driver was on. And the person had the window down. And I could see that they were, like, looking at me. And I was just like, oh, you know, a lot of people go to this park and do, like, um, Pokemon. <laughs> I don't play Pokemon, y'all. I play farm. Farming games. So I don't play Pokemon. But I know that people go there. And I've met a few people that actually were trying to catch them around me. <laughs> Apparently, I was... I had them around me. So people were like, um, you know, like... Like, oh, you're lucky. You're lucky <laughs> because you got one by you. So that's how I knew there were these people coming. So I saw this person looking over. I'm just like, oh, yeah, probably just looking around and just hanging out like me, just enjoying the sun. So then I, after I got done um, just relaxing and chilling, I got up. And then I tied my shoe <laughs> because my shoelace was untied. And then I just started walking, and I didn't think anything of it. I was just enjoying my day, y'all. It was just wonderful just to walk and enjoy my day. I came, see, there's, like, part of, like, a walkway, and then you go out onto the road, and there's, like, there's, like, a walkway on the side of the road. So up ahead, there's, it used to be, up ahead, there used to be a build, there's a build, there is a building. I, I said used to be a building, but I meant to say it used to be a bank, and I've lived here long enough that I've known that that bank changed hands like three or four times. And then so now it's actually like office building for doctors, I think, at this point, doctor's office. Because I've I seen a lot of people go in there and, um, you know, and then they have like pharmacy com. It's, it's some, something to do with doctors. Anyways, so I was coming up to that area and there is a driveway right there. And I didn't notice it, but as I was going to cross the driveway to that building... That same car with that same person over the park over there had turned 
and actually was in front of the cro the, oh, the walkway so I couldn't go across it. And this person rolled down the window and goes, and it was a guy. This person had a hat on. Low, it was so you couldn't really see his head at all. And he had sunglasses on. He goes, hey, ma'am, you look like you're really tired. I'm wondering if you want a ride to your de destination. I'm more than willing to give you one just so you know to help you out. And I go, thank you for your offer, but no thank you. I'm enjoying my walk today, and I'm not going very far. So it was like, okay, he said, that's fine. Have a good day. So I seen he, like, pulled around to the side and just, like, sat on the other side. So I didn't think anything of it. So I was just walking, and... And then I, out of the corner of my eye... I seen him drive at the corner of my eye. I don't know why I looked back. I, I absolutely don't know. I seen him. He zoomed off, like, right out of the the office, you know, that, that area right there. And out of the, the walk, or right across <laughs> the driveway. He went all the way across, which, technically, if you go across, is actually a U-turn. So he U-turned the other way and sped off. I was like, oh, my goodness, that guy's, like, going to have an accident. Especially... That busy road there, oh my gosh, you, you barely can walk across the road without getting hit by a car because it's absolutely insanely busy. So I was walking all the way up into, there's a Wendy's, and then there's some sort of a um, electrical thing. I have no idea, some sort of electrical thing. And I was just walking there, and there he was. He was at the Wendy's store, sitting over on the other side. And I'm not sure if he knew that I seen him there, but I was like, what the heck? Why is he, why, and I thought maybe he was getting something to eat, but he sped off, and he seen him sped off, so I thought that he went really far, and me, um, I was walking really slow, so like, it took me like, like, 10 or 20 minutes to get there, and he was sitting all the way on the other side of Wendy's, and so I'm like, um, he's just getting food, you know, it's just coincidence. So I walked in to, right there is like a grocery store. So I went into the grocery store, got a few things for the kids and I to have a snack. And then I got myself, of course, I have to get myself a cold brew Starbucks. I love their cold brew Starbucks. It's amazing. And it's always chilled there because they have them in a, you know, where you can buy them. Chilled. So I got a few things and then I come out and I was just enjoying myself. Like I said, I was enjoying my, enjoying my my whole walk and everything and so I decided that I was actually going to cross the other way so that way when I'm heading my way home I wouldn't have to cross across the busy road on the other side so it would be better to cross here where's a crosswalk than go down there and crosswalk and almost get hit by a car so let's get back in here and we'll go finish what happened and we're just I think this is the end of the map so we'll have to do a uh, U-turn, an illegal thing. So, anyways, you all. So, I actually crossed across that, and that was it. Was there was not much traffic around that air, that time. So, I actually was kind of glad. I opened, you know, I opened my coffee and was just, ooh, look at this little area. That is so cool. I just love like the little froggies and the little ponds. And so, as I was walking I realized something he had followed me y'all that same guy had followed me and he was parking in a private driveway I guess because I had walked across the crossway ways and somehow he must have sped because I must have not seen him all the way up and over to this private person's home and was sitting in there but because their driveway's back i couldn't see him oh my gosh um i was kind of freaking out by now because this guy had literally stalked me asked me for a ride i refused stalked me to all the way over to wendy's um i guess i didn't notice maybe he was there at the grocery store turned around went all the way back, waited for me to walk all the way down to where I was at, and parked in a private person's driveway, sitting there waiting for me. And I ran as fast as I could, y'all. 
I ran as fast as I could. As fast as I could go. And I saw him. I had to pull over here, y'all. This must uh, be a bunker. This is, is it our bunker maybe? I don't know. But I just need to sit here and I need to breathe for like one minute. So I ran as fast as I could go with all my stuff. And I saw his car, vehicle. He started getting over, like he went from this lane to that lane. I turned back and I saw him and I kept running. So I came upon a church and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna run into the church. And I ran into the church crying. And I told the pastor, and he said, he says, he says, calm down. He asked me what happened and I told him. And he said, could you identify the guy? And I said, yes, I could. And he asked me if I wanted to call 911. And I says, no. And he asked me why. And I said, I gotta stop here for a minute. Ugh. And he asked me why. And I said, I just don't feel comfortable in calling them. I'm sorry at this time. I'm shaking up. I don't know what to do. But they're not gonna help. There has been a couple of times when, um, in the past, um, you know, where, you know, I called, only called in to, to, like, send in a tip, like, anonymous tip, and they didn't, you know, it's, it's like they don't care, and so, I was shaken up, and I didn't want to call at this point, my only reason for getting to church was for safety. And I was trying to hide from him. So hoping he would just disappear. But then I remembered my son. My son was coming home on the bus. And I had to meet my son. What if this guy knew my son was... I don't know. I don't know. I didn't entirely know. So I looked around the church and I couldn't see a car. And I was so relieved, y'all. I was so relieved. So I ran, I ran as fast as I could. And I was two minutes late for my son, but my son knows where to go home. And my son's, my, my son knows, you know, my son knows about safety and, you know, and I was, I kept walking because my house is near the church, but is not near the church. I mean, you know, it's country, it's rural, it's, you know, and I looked around, I did not see him, he was nowhere, and I was just, I was crying, just so, so grateful, thankful, and I heard a roar of an engine, and I turned, how did he find it, how did he find me, y'all? Where was he at? Where was this guy at? Where was he hiding? I ran as fast as I could. And I didn't think he'd see me go to the church. I was, I, I like ran across somewhere so he couldn't see me. But he was there again. He started pulling up to me. I literally, I didn't care where I went. I was just going to run. I ran across two fields. Y'all, two freaking fields. And I never... I almost dropped my I almost dropped my phone. And I kept running and running. Till I found I was until I found out where I where I knew where I was at. And I ran as fast as I could to my house. I ran inside. I closed the door. I locked the door. And I didn't look back. And you, you know, y'all, I haven't been outside since. And this is a warning to y'all. It doesn't matter where you are. You could be in the middle of nowhere. And you could be 
there could be some sort of predator out there, some sort of person that doesn't have good intentions, y'all. You could be a woman. You could be a teen. You could be a man. It doesn't matter. But these people don't have good intentions, and this person didn't. Because clearly I said no, and he followed me all over the place. He scared me so bad that I'm scared to go outside. So, that being said, I'm still scared. I still have not gone outside. I am going to bring, when I go out again, I decided I'm going to buy some pepper spray. I'm going to be more aware of my surroundings. Even when I was aware of my surroundings, I wasn't. I didn't think that this guy had no, I didn't think this guy had intentions to do what he did. And who knows what his intentions was. I think it was either trafficking me, kidnapping me, or else. Or just... He wasn't a good person, y'all. A person that couldn't say take no for an answer and had to stalk me like that is wrong. So, I'm ordering some stuff to protect me. I'm getting some stuff to protect me. I'm probably going to take some south the fence, y'all. I don't know if I'm going to get a gun. I don't know. I'm not that kind of a person to get one. But, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. This country, y'all, used to be a safe country, and this is the truth. I go on Twitter, or X, and I follow a couple people, and I see people coming into our country that don't live here, and they want to hurt us American citizens, y'all. Not saying all of them are like that, but just some of them. Some of, some of them don't know our, our American tradition. Some don't know the culture here. But I've seen some videos of, of where women were trafficked and kidnapped. And, you know, X or Twitter has showed me that how dangerous of a country we actually live in. And it, y'all, we have to protect ourselves. We also have to protect each other. We, we have to do it our, ourselves. We can't count on the police. Because you can tell them and they'll, they'll just make a report and do nothing. Because they don't care. Or they just think we're, oh, it's just some random person following you, you know? That being said, I, I wanted to tell you guys this to bring you guys an awareness that... I wasn't expecting that. I did have a close call a little while ago when I was walking in the park. A guy was chasing me around the park and out of the park. But that is the first time I've ever experienced that. And that was scary. And most of the time, I've only walked with my kids. And I always have my phone with me for safety purposes. But never with a person in a vehicle that followed me all over the place just i'm just bringing awareness y'all i think that i'm not seeing we're in all-time dangerous times but i i think we're in more of a place in a time where not everything is safe anymore and y'all just be safe just be safe and i love you all and i want to say I appreciate y'all and all your comments and all your likes and everything that you guys have made my channel. I appreciate it. I'm just going through a little bit of a hard time now. I just got to figure out to be safe. And I don't think no longer I'm going to be walking by myself. I'll be walking with my kids or I'll find some person you know, some lady to walk with, you know, I, I can't walk by myself, so, um, 
that being said, um, I don't know if we've seen all the map. I'll get back in, um, this John Deere. <laughs> Is there deer in the sky? I think so. And we're just gonna quickly go around here while I breathe. Because <laughs> it's very hard. And some of you might think that I'm crazy because I didn't call the police or talk to the police. But I didn't feel comfortable doing it. I didn't, you know, you know, who knows? Please, you know, a lot of them, there, there's been a lot of corrupt officers, y'all, and I don't trust anyone. I'm very, very hard at trusting cops like that. <laughs> yeah, I guess we've seen all the map. We'll just fly through the shield here, back to our front. That being said, I'm sorry that this was a sad a moment on Farm Sim. I didn't want to make this video. I actually didn't want to tell you guys about it but I struggled for the last two days just I've been having nightmares about it and I'm like what if this guy finds me what if he, what if he knows where I live what if what if there's always a what if you know so back to the farm here and we'll say our goodbye but not a goodbye forever I'll be back in here oh jeez I'm stuck what am I stuck on oh jeez how could this have happened I'm stuck I can't move okay let's see if I can move. Okay. yeah that is so freaking weird y'all I'm stuck like on this weird was this sand there I don't get this. Like, why am I stuck here? Okay, so what does that say? I think it's like talking about the field over there. Okay. So, y'all, this is Brooke on Homeland Economy in, I think, Hungary? <laughs> we went across the world, y'all, to Europe. <laughs> that being said, um,. Hope you have a good day. Um, please like and subscribe. And and um, peace and stay safe. This is until next time. See you back in farms. <laughs>